Hi everyone, my name is Kanata. I'm a volunteer with Laurel Cats. Um, today we're here at the November 2022 adoption event at the Laurel Pet Mart in Maryland. Let's go take a look. So as we step in, here's a bunch of kittens, very busy. It's very busy. Let's look for our volunteers at Laurel Cats and here they are. Laurel Cats. Okay, so we're still setting up, but here let's take a look at our sweet little kittens. Yeah. Who is this? This is Romeo. Romeo is here for adoption today. Romeo, and we got him about three weeks ago. Our good Samaritan found him um, in pretty rough shape. His body temperature was about 10 degrees below normal. Um, he was extremely emaciated, covered with fleas, and um, both of his eyes were crusted shut with conjunctivitis and infection. Um, he recovered really well. Um, he gained weight, and we've been treating the eyes. This is just one of the services that our small cats do. They take care of all these poor little kittens who come in all injured and sick, and then they nurse them back to health and find them forever homes. This is Romeo. There we have a few more right there, some more right there. We have some more and there's still a couple more waiting to arrive and here they're coming out of the caviar right now. Here they are, look how sweet. Oh, so sweet. This is Bernie, he's, he's up for adoption today. He's the softest, softest fur. He was a rescue from Carol Gardner. Oh. Yeah, this is the one, he just was this little puffball. He's about two weeks old. He's two weeks and old. He was. Oh, he was. Picked him up. And um, he's just turned into the sweetest little boy. A little nervous right now. Oh. And then that's Harriet and Harley. They're a brother and sister, bonded pair. She's the gorgeous one. She's going to grow into a long hair for me in the mix almost. And they're, they're um, bonded, so they'll definitely have to be a double adoption. Very, very close. They definitely take care of each other and watch out for each other. That's so sweet. So they need to stay together. Aww. And here we have two more. Two more. They look to be about eight or nine weeks. Mm -hmm. so they're young. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are all about four months. He just turned four months yesterday, and they'll be four months on November 20th. That's so sweet. There's someone so curious <laughs> looking at us. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm a volunteer, um, bottle feeder at World Cats. And how far are they? He's actually napping. He's just hanging out chill. So, um, I think he's excited to be here today. Question? I'm, I'm Colleen, and I foster kittens. I don't currently have any fosters at the moment, but I also help organize the the adoption events for little cats. So I got all. I had to figure out which kittens were ready for adoption, and then assign the cages, and then bring all of the equipment to get things set up. My favorite part about adoption events. Um, see, I just moved here from San Diego where I foster out there with another organization. And so for me, this is really exciting because now I get to meet all of the volunteers here. And now I'm getting to know everybody, um, particularly fosters that might be new fosters, but also fosters that do a lot for us over and over with getting them the kittens old enough to be adopted. So I really like to meet everybody. And then, of course, seeing all the wonderful people who come to our adoption events, looking at the kitties. It's just fun to meet you know, people who live here in the world. I am a foster cat parent and I have three kittens, three males, three brothers. I named them after baseball players, Derek Jeter, Nomar Garcia Parra, and Jorge Posada. They're about 14 weeks old. They range in weight from four and a half to five pounds. Um, Jeter's the one with the green collar. Um, Nomar is the one with the teal collar and Posada is the one, he's the biggest one, he does not have a collar. They're bonded, they're best friends, they play together, they sleep together, they even poop together and eat together. And um, I'm hoping to keep them all together to have one person come and adopt all three. But if not, I'd like to at least see two of them go and the third one go to a family that has at least one other cat so he's not lonely. Thank you. Okay, so here we have Remington, Pimlico, and Laurel. Um, they were all named after racetracks because they were found on the Laurel racetrack. This is Remington, this is Pimlico, and that's Laurel back there. Um, they're ready for adoption today, so let's see if we can find them a forever home. 
time, my name is Amy and I am the Facebook manager with Roll Pets. Okay. Yep. Um, my favorite part about adoption events is you get to meet these guys in person. And you don't normally get to do that with Pet Finder and everything. And they're definitely, they are a little different, but it's a great way to see their personality and how they want to react to people. Yeah. Cats always mm -hmm. do. This is Hugs. She's the mama with her baby. That's cutie. Um, Hugs is super affectionate. That's why she's named Hugs. So you can see. She loves pets. There you go. Look at that. So cute. There you go. She loves pets. And there's her baby cutie. Cutie's a little bit more shy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. But he's warming up a bit, I guess, after a while. My favorite part about rural cats is that they are an all foster home based rescue. Yeah. So there's no shelter. This is the only cage these guys are going to be in until they get adopted. So they come here for two hours and they go back home and they feel really comfortable and they learn how to be the house cats just like you want them to be. Tim Lico's feeling a bit playful right now. Um, Remington and Laurel are also starting to wake up a little bit. They're waking up and being Woo! playful. Oh, there's Remington trying to escape. Kitty, kitty, kitty. These three are up for adoption. Um, are they bonded? No. So they can be adopted separately if anybody's interested. Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and I'm a foster and a volunteer for Rural Cats. And I love adoption events. It's just a great opportunity to doctors face-to-face with kittens and cats, and it also gives volunteers the chance to see each other and share ideas and um, experiences that we have with our fosters at home. As you can probably see, um, our kittens at Laurel Cat are very friendly and they're very comfortable since our fosters take extra care. To make them comfortable around people, you see Romeo's right there sleeping right on the counter. <laughs> They're all playful. They're not scared of strangers, which is good. Okay, so Harley's hiding in the blanket a little bit, so we're gonna be taking him out. Yeah, we'll take him out. We'll see how he's feeling. Um, Bernie can go by himself, but it's recommended that he goes to a household that has other cats mm -hmm. or um, to somebody who's around um, during the day that isn't gone for extended hours because he's very interactive. Here we have a visitor meeting Harley. So been sweet. Napping. He's been napping here on me for like the last hour and a half. Hi, I'm Carrie Massey. Okay. And one thing I like to always encourage everyone to remember is at these adoption events, it's always the kittens and um, the cute little faces that get a lot of attention. But not to forget the adult foster cats that we have. Um, we have many adults that are in foster care. Um, and sometimes they um, don't show quite as well. Um, they might have, um, a, they might be a little timid, um, and so they will stay in our homes in foster care. Um, but we can easily set up an on-site visit um, or in, in, uh, arrange for an introduction so that you can meet some of these great adult cats that we have in foster homes. I'm Mark Offen. I'm a foster with Laurel Cats. And these little guys are about 10 or 11 weeks old, little girls. This is Princess Patchy Patch. And this is Stasha. Although I think their names are going to be Rain and Uni now. And they're going to go home with a wonderful little girl today. Yep. So here we have some adopters. Who are you adopting today? You're adopting Romeo? And there's another little baby right there. Are you happy? Yeah? Okay. So who are you adopting today? We're adopting uh, Yumi and Rain. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sure so, for Unicorn and Rainbow. Oh, uh, so how did you choose Uni and Rain? I just fell in love with their faces when I saw the picture on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you choose um, Laurel Cats to adopt from today? Uh, we were just looking for a good place to find adopt, um, find cats to adopt, and it just worked out. Like the Facebook mm -hmm. page, everything. It just meant to be, I guess. Uh, we need to make them adopt. Do I like doing that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what would you like to tell uh, the viewers about Laurel Cats and adopting? Well, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Well, it's been uh, like a very good process. It's been easy and the people are very helpful and friendly. And, yeah, it's a positive experience for us. 
All right, thank you so much. Thank you. What's one piece of advice you'd give to anybody looking to adopt from Wildcat? So one piece of advice I'd give anyone looking to adopt a cat or a kid is to do a little bit of research. Alright, thank you. Okay, hi, my name is Rebecca Cook. I'm fostering these two beautiful girls, Raven and Ebony, and they are about five months old. I was the foster for their mom and uh, their two other siblings that were adopted out. So we have these two beautiful girls left. Uh, they were found in the woods behind my house. And they are a bonded pair, and I would love to offer them a beautiful forever home. Um, so, just beautiful, they're spayed, neutered, and all their vaccines are ready to go for a forever home. Alright, this is Ebony and Raven, they're awake now, feeling a bit curious. Which one is this? Which one's which? This one is Raven, this one is Ebony. Okay, Raven's uh, Raven feeling very extra curious. She's very rambunctious. Very rambunctious, I hear. <laughs> Ebony's more laid back, she's more like the diva. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both available for adoption. Um, they are bonded, right? Yes, they are bonded. Yes, they are bonded pair. Two sisters, so. about five and a half months old. Mm -hmm. And they will be. Uh, you can find them at Pet Finder probably. Yes. Right at Laurel Cats. Um, if anybody is interested. There you go. <laughs> Here we have Crow and Raven <laughs> play fighting. They're Same super and a good shot. Yep. Oh, look there at There we go. Song. He's bluffing. Oh, look at them. These two boys are eight weeks old. They're both males. They are bonded. Um, we're hoping to get them adopted together. If anybody's interested, you can find them on Pet Finder. They're super energetic, but I hear when they're tired, they're um, always down to sleep with you. They're so starting to clean up. Yeah, Getting ready to take them back home. Romeo's going back home. <laughs> Are you happy to go home? <laughs> so cute. Okay, we are starting to wrap up now. Um, thank you to everyone who came out and everyone who adopted. We still have a, a lot of kittens left. If anybody's interested in any of the ones you saw in the video today, you can always check on Pet Finder and see if they're still available. Thank you. And this is actually my first adoption event, so I really, I'm just really excited to be here and just to see how these guys do. Um, and I was like, maybe thinking they would be a little more nervous, but no, as you can see, they're a little fun. So um, it is great to meet everybody today. That's one of the things. Like I've met Bath and Gigi and Barbara. Finally, met Karen today. So it's that's one of the good things about doing this. You know, and meet you know, we've been working with for two years, very virtual. So. So it's nice. Very positive experience so far. So mm -hmm. I've been volunteering uh, for the past for the pandemic. Yeah, this is the story we're going to help us. I'm going to see these bottles. So, and um, I applied and emailed back. I got back to you like, today. So, I'm going to start with the materials. And, you know, years later, and lots of kitties. Um, I absolutely love it. I love what I do. love the babies. love seeing them grow and thrive. And, He's just like upside down, twisted, and he's into happy. He's like, it's my afternoon nap time. <laughs> so, so this is good. Pause. Yep.
So, um, something I would like to tell people who are interested in adopting from an event involving Laurel Cats. Um, Laurel Cats is an amazing organization where we are reliant on volunteers, and so all of our cats are fostered in homes. So, for example, I have four children, six, eight, ten, and twelve, so our foster kittens are very well loved and manhandled from the beginning, so it, it, that's the benefit of getting a Laurel cat cat or kitten is that they are really socialized and loved and so you know that they're going to easily transition into your family and the fosters do a lot of work recommending what what situation is best for these cats to be adopted in so whether or not they can handle dogs other cats or maybe they should be adopted with another kitty and so they're really it's very personalized well-loved cats and kittens that you will receive yeah, so you really do become part of your family. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.